an amazing amount of information from all, I suppose I've got to use this microphone, which I don't like to do, but an amazing amount of, of information so far this evening. Much of it is exactly what I was going to talk about because all of what you talked about, in a way, culminates in how do you sustain a Rotaract Club? And the way I was looking at it is absolutely from a club and a district viewpoint because I have had no hands-on um, interaction with a Rotaract Club. Um, I've been involved with Interact and all the other um, youth programs in the district, but never with Rotaract. And so what I was hearing this evening were some very interesting things, all of which I've read, but not heard from, from young people and from advisors and from clubs who actually have had uh, Rotaract clubs because we haven't. Um, the, the actual experience that I've had with Rotaract clubs, interestingly, is with our um, GSE teams. And GSE teams, um, for all the letters that Rotarians always use, is our group study exchange programs where we have young people who come from all over the world in groups to come here and uh, be here with us for a month sometimes. Uh, four of them at least are not Rotarians and many of them are young people. And for the most part, everyone that we've ever hosted at our home have all been rotor actors community-based rotor actors, but rotor actors, and rotor actors in almost a different sense than we see rotor actors today. But what, um, how are we going to do this? I, won't, I could keep on, okay. So what does a sponsoring club do? Because the way I looked at it, if, you're gonna, if we're gonna talk about sustainability, the Rotaract clubs have to be sustained have, have to be sustained by their sponsoring clubs and by the district. Without the sponsoring club, without the district, the Rotaract clubs can function in a vacuum. You can be another club just like any other club on a campus, but you're not a Rotaract club. So it has to have that. So what are the sponsoring clubs going to do? And I've already heard many of these things from you. Um, they serve as mentors, absolutely and absolutely. Positively, that's what our, our job as Rotarians is, is to mentor the people who are the rotor actors. And certainly what we hear from young people today, whether they're rotor actors or whether they're just young people, is we have heard that service projects are what you want to do. And joint service projects, big service projects, district-wide service projects, things that make an impact on the community. And so if we're going to sustain our Rotaract clubs, we're going to have to have this type of project. Um, and we have to work alongside the young people because this is what keeps us young. Let's face it, that's how I stay as young as I do, is because we, Skip and I have been involved with young people for years and years and years. This club commitment is not only going to sustain the Rotaract Club, but honestly, it's going to sustain the club too. Because it's really going to take your Rotary Club and let you get out and work with the people who will be the young leaders of the future. And that's what it's going to be all about. And so I just made a list, and you can see it in your packet, and I won't go over it all, but these are things that clubs can do. What are they going to do? Invite the rotor actors to your club meetings. They bring energy. So as I'm looking at, at one, two, three um, presidents, two presidents and a president elect, um, this is what you want to do. You want to invite these kids and bring that energy. And that mentoring, that mentoring piece, and it <coughs> as they mentor, they shouldn't really mentor each other well, I shouldn't say, they shouldn't, it shouldn't be a one-on-one. -on -one. It shouldn't be the mentor and the student as the mentee. <clears throat> Excuse me, it could be the opposite. It could be the student who's mentoring the club member and the student who's helping the club member understand what it is to be a young person in the world today. So as I said, I could go through them all, but I won't. Um, there's one down there, though, the last one, and that's invite the rotor actors to observe a Rotary Club board meeting. Not a regular club meeting, but a board meeting. Go and see how a Rotary Club board actually operates and what they do and how they talk about things in a business meeting. So that particular one, I think um, we certainly could add. And somebody did talk about going to the district conferences and the international conference. So you can take a look at those things. And I just showed some, some pictures. This is in another country. Again, a community service project. Something big, something like the food packaging, but We've been doing a lot of those. Let's come up with another one. 
let's come up with something that maybe the Rotaract kids get all of the rest of the district involved with next year. Uh, some new idea, something different. Professional development activities are important, and they, they I've seen it work with, with Interact Clubs. Um, our own Interact Club that we had um, invited the members to come, our own Rot Rotarians to come each week that they had a meeting once a month. Uh, their meeting was the Rotarian would talk to the students, the high school students, about their career. <clears throat> How did they get into the job they're in? What problems did they have along the way? How did they become successful? And so this sort of thing is a way that um, the members of a Rotary Club can help a Rotaract Club. Um, and then sponsoring Rotarians can enhance the activities by practical advice on the business world. What are some of the things that some of these people, and you know that there are some people in our Rotary Clubs that have had amazing careers and can tell young people, can help young people understand, I don't want to say tell, can help them. What are some? You can have professional forums. I think this is a, a wonderful idea where professionals in, in your Rotary Clubs will have business forums for young people. Business technology updates, and that's a two-way street. I think that the Rotary actors could bring the business technology to the Rotary Clubs and explain a lot to them. Um, and managing and marketing seminars. Some of you may be, I'm not sure what your majors are, I don't know if this is still in some cases uh, um, an Engineers Without Borders program, but something where management and marketing seminars could be held that would bring um, some of, like I'm thinking of WPI, um, there are some programs there that might be something that the Rotary Club would be interested in. And then conferences on business and professional ethics. There is actually a, a some of you, I'm going to talk in a minute about what RILA is, but there is a what we call RILA for uh, older students, for actually for rotor actors, and they spent, it's a whole conference on business and professional ethics, um, so that's something that certainly could work. So I, I just wanted to mention two really important activities district-wide, um, and, and club-wide too, but Interact is one. Do you know what Interact is? Do you know what Interact is? Mike, what's Interact? That's the high school level, it's Rotaract on the high school level. You could, Rotaractors, like ro Rotaractors, the Interactors carry out local projects, but Rotaractors can conduct mutual projects with the Interactors. Find an Interact club in your area. Um, I'm not, Wellesley, I think, has it. They've got, they've got a great Interact program going at the moment. You know, bring the college, the Rotaractors, in with the Interactors and that, that special program that Wellesley is doing for young people and, and depression and suicide. That, that moves into uh, college, too, and, and that would be a great interaction. And RILA. RILA is Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. This is a week long, uh, weekend long program sponsored by our district and the local clubs. It's held this year at uh, Fitchburg State University. And high school students are trained in leadership and personal growth. And we would love to have Rotary actors participate as volunteers. Uh, that's, you know, go to the district website, find the, uh, actually go to RILA, it's uh, www.rila. 7910.org, go to our website and you will find a way to volunteer. So we would love um, Rotaractors and this is a way to sustain the Rotaract Club is by getting them involved. The foundation, and I know you, some of you know something about that, the Worcester Club, uh, excuse me, the, the uh, WPI Rotary Club partnered with the Worcester Rotary Club partnered with Rotary International to get that big grant with other Rotary Clubs all put together um, the, the water project in, in Guatemala. So that's a way to do it. You can foster peace and understanding through those funded grants. You can actually earn master's degrees in peace and conflict resolution. It's a wonderful program. It is not a program for young people right out of college. It's a program to keep your eyes on. It's one where you've maybe had two or three or four experiences in the business world or out there more college um, examples. Maybe you've gotten a, even, a, even up to a doctorate and you all of a sudden decide you want to get involved in peace and conflict resolution. Uh, university professors can all get involved with this. And it is, uh, I believe it's a sixty to $80,000 um, grant which will pay for all of your expenses for a peace and conflict resolution degree. And there also are, um, 
six month, uh, three month programs in Chulon Longhorn University in Thailand on peace and conflict resolution. Um, really wonderful programs. And I just put this up really quickly because I wanted you to look at the last two. How are you going to sustain the Rotary, uh, Rot uh, Rotaract clubs? See the international opportunity of Rotary. Met for many, many years, um, I taught global studies. And in teaching global studies, it was very difficult to get American young people in really, truly interested in foreign countries. Because as I was told in the course of my studies by a professor at Williams College, the American young person is very happy where they are. And they have no reason to go outside of their country to see anything, because they have everything. You're just so very comfortable. But the young people who are coming from other countries want to know all about America. They want to come here, because this is to them the land of opportunity. And that's the way it was 20 years ago, 15 years ago. But I've been out of teaching now for a few years. And in those years, I found that young people are changing. Young people are becoming very interested in world affairs. They want to be involved, and that's where Rotary comes in. You can be involved in international. You can have your Rotaract club do a, um, a, a webinar with a Rotary club anywhere in the world. And you can talk to them, and you can share projects, and you can share a, gl a global grant with a Rotaract club in another country. So just amazing international opportunities for young people today in, in Rotary. And that helps to sustain your Rotaract clubs. And the personal growth, your own personal growth as being a part of Rotary is something you, you talk to your members about what can happen and how they can change. Now, do you all know about this? This is vitally important because one of the problems in Rotary and Rotaract today is young people are not registered. We do not know who they are. So who are you? We only know Rotaract members that are counted in the online database. Now is your time we need you to stand up and be counted. And if you go to the, the uh, Facebook page, the Rotaract Facebook page, and go to stand up and be counted, you can get yourself registered. You have to go register yourself online with Rotary. And you get counted, and you can actually see the numbers. And they're growing day by day. With the number. Are you kids registered? Some of you are? OK. Get your whole Rotaract Club registered so that you can stand up and be counted so we know who you are. And that's all going to be part of, um, of the celebration um, of Rotaract Week, which is coming up. And the hope was that maybe some of our Rotaract Clubs, and this actually is a, is a beginning. It's a kickoff to Rotaract Week. And perhaps you might be going to have a project. So are there any, I think that's the last one. That's it. Are there any questions? Okay.